Hello, today I want to talk about vapor pressure and uh, here in this container I've taken a liquid, that's water. Now, what will happen that since we have got a liquid over here, these liquid will go into the vapor state. But the question is that why these liquid will go into the vapor state uh, if I'm not at 100 degrees centigrade. We need to understand uh, some other thing the kinetic molecular theory of liquid for that. Now, we know that the liquids in water are uh, constantly moving. Now, if they can move, what can we uh, tell about it? Maybe a um, certain molecule might move with a higher kinetic energy than the other one. So, But suppose that this is my molecule that we are concerned with and this is moving at a greater speed so but it cannot escape from inside to be become vapor what it will do that it will hit if not obstructed it will hit the molecule on the surface okay so the surface molecule might get sufficient energy when it is uh, hit by the molecule that is behind it and it might go into the vapor state okay Similarly, these uh, these molecules on the surface of water, when they are hit by sufficient energy, they move into the vapor state. Okay. So what happens when it's hit? It moves into the vapor state and goes over here. Okay. Similarly, we have got more molecules going into the vapor state. Okay. But when these molecules go into the vapor state, they are not static. So they also move in the given amount of volume over here and any time they could head back to the surface of the water and stick over there. So suppose that this is my water molecule and this sticks over there. But since we have got less vapor, you know, the probability that they will stick is also less. So we can say that the rate of change of liquid into vapor is more than the rate of change of vapor into liquid. So, um, so what we see is that since the rate of change is more for the liquid one into, uh, to go into the vapor state, you know, we'll be having more of the vapors going put in a time into the vapor state and less of the vapors coming back to the liquid. So, a time will come when we'll have more va more vapors over here, and the rate of change equalizes. So we can represent that by giving two arrows, you know, suppose this is going upwards and previously it was smaller, this one, but slowly this arrow, the smaller one, becomes as big as the left one. So we can say that it has reached the equilibrium point where the rate of change equalizes. Okay, so and at that stage we can say that the vapor is exerting pressure on the liquid and this pressure at equilibrium on the surface of the liquid is called as vapor pressure. We can also see uh, this thing by the distribution curve of kinetic energy of the surface molecules. Suppose that this is my fraction of surface molecules because what we are concerned with the surface molecules only because they only escape and not the inside one. They only hit. So we could also by that reasoning we can also say that the temperature is also distributed. You know, when we have more temperature the molecules move faster. When we have got less temperature the molecules uh, move slower. So, uh, but on average, we have got the same temperature of this molecule. Suppose that we try to know the temperature of this molecule, we can say it's at 50 degrees centigrade, maybe. But are every molecule, or um, is every molecule at 50 degrees centigrade? It's not. You know, maybe some of the molecule that's caped into the vapor attained that 100 degree mark, which is why they pushed and uh, they left to the surface of, you know, the surface of the liquid. So they have attained that temperature. Now, I can show this graph as there's my fraction, there's my fraction of the molecule of the surface. Okay, so 
say a temperature T you know, this is the point of zero kinetic energy and there is no fraction of molecule now since when we move you know, we have got some fraction of molecule and that has got very low kinetic energy maybe around say 2 degrees centigrade or 1 degree centigrade so maybe I don't know so as we move forward what we see is that the kinetic energy is also increasing and uh, the fraction of molecules are also increasing they reach the fraction of molecule at the surface reach the top you know so this is my maximum fraction of molecule with this amount of kinetic energy suppose this my point so it shows that the the greatest fraction of the surface molecule has attained this much of fraction uh, this much of kinetic energy and we go backwards we see that the fraction decreases again and uh, but the kinetic energy of the molecule is, is increasing so we'll reach a point where the kinetic energy is maximum so to over here okay so uh, we can say that if this is my minimum kinetic energy this is the point okay this is the point from here to here you know, this is the minimum kinetic energy required to uh, required by the uh, by the liquid on the surface to go into the vapor state okay so what we can see that after that each of the molecule will go this is the minimum point that means from this point to the point over here you know all the molecules will go into the liquid state this is the minimum point that's required and this, this is the minimum energy that's required okay so we can show it by say coloring it in red okay so this part has made true okay now what if I keep so it's on temperature T1 so let's say this one was at temperature T1 what if I uh, put some more energy to water you know by keeping it at a different temperature what we see is that mm, what we see is that more fraction the molecule you know makes through you know this part shows that greater fraction of molecule um, er, got sufficient energy to go into the vapor state and we know that at if we keep the temperature higher we'll have <coughs> sorry we'll have just a fraction of molecule going uh, going into the vapor stage since they have got more energy this time so we can represent that with a different color so this part up to this part this part has made through okay and that by that analogy we can say that uh, that the temperature although the average temperature of water is same and that shows you that it is maybe 50 or whatever but the temperature is is distributed in the whole water molecule okay thanks for watching the video